Uh, my name is Jenny Hers. I'm the lead person of the Juniper Hills chapter of the Nevada Fire Safe Council. And why did you decide to uh, help form the Juniper Hills Fire Safe chapter? Well, um, one of my, my neighbors, Kathy Dudley, and I decided to form a chapter after the Hawken Fire in 2007. We came very close to our house and we were told to prepare to evacuate. Um, nobody really knew what to do. We didn't know how to protect our neighborhood. We didn't know what to do to uh, protect our homes and keep our things safe. So we started a, a chapter at that point. And, and uh, this recent Colin fire, uh, can you describe your experience in that? Well, um, what happened with me with the Colin fire is a friend that lives in Lake Ridge Shore called it. 3.30 in the morning and told us that he had just been evacuated. He knows that my house is on the uh, wilderness urban interface and so he called because he was concerned that the fire might come our way. Um, my husband and I got up and started packing some of our valuables and loaded it into a car. We contacted a couple of our neighbors and uh, drove our car down someplace safe. That was about it. Stayed and waited. We got lucky because the wind changed and so we didn't have to evacuate. And so as a chapter leader um, for the Fire Safe Council, what is, what is your role? What do you do? Um, I try to make sure that my neighbors are educated on what they can to do to protect their properties and their homes. I contacted people to make sure that they were aware of the fire once I was notified of it. And um, I try to let people know the things that I've learned through classes and, and literature that I've gotten from um, the Nevada Fire Safe Council and from Living F With Fire. How do you feel about uh, you know people's perception of the risk in this area due to wildfire? Um, a lot of the people in this neighborhood have a pretty good perspective on their risk and have done a lot of things to help reduce that, but a lot of folks also um, are under the misguided perception that the fire department is going to come and sit in their driveway and protect them as an individual home and they don't have to do anything thing at all. During the Hawken fire, um, people could drive up to the top of Bear Mountain just behind us and there's a tall view that drops down into the Eagles Nest community that was at risk. Um, there they did see individual fire trucks in people's driveways fighting one property, you know, protecting one property at a time. And so people just think that that's always going to happen and it, it might not. It depends on the fire. So I think that people really need to step up to the plate and take responsibility for their properties and make things a little easier for the firefighters also. And uh, continuing with that thought, you know, any recommendations you have for homeowners living in Reno's fire prone areas? Um, well, everything's a fire prone area as this most recent uh, fire showed with embers blowing all over the place. It doesn't have to be uh, the wilderness interface. It can be right in the middle of town with an ember blowing from up above. And yes, my recommendation is to educate yourself. Get on the Living With Fire website and le learn the things that you can do. Some of the things are so easy to protect your own home and to protect your property just by clearing things up and battening down some some holes in your house and you know so that's my best recommendation is to just learn 